What's the, uh, in this defense, kind of help take us through your position, kind of what's expected of you and, and, and how it's different, how people are going to see that it's different? Well, I play open, open game. My position, I'm most likely I'm going to keep my and the five tech, and, you know, mostly I'm just striking the blockers and getting off and you know, keeping the top there, basically keeping outside the top That position in, in Coach Brown has talked about he wants, you know, quick, fast guys up front more than you know, on the outside. Do you feel like you're kind of perfect for that position? Oh, yes, definitely, definitely. Uh, great speed, strength, I got it all. I can, I can bring you speed, I can do power, I can do it. I, I think I'm the right guy for that position. What does it feel like in this defense? Have you all adjusted to it? Oh, yeah, definitely. Since spring, uh, we've been adjusting real well. Like, the summer, we've been working our techniques, learning our techniques, getting our proper movement. You're doing great. How's the, the competition there, and how's it pushing you to get better? Oh, the competition is amazing. You know, we got big Mikai. We got a, a couple other o line that we're going against every day. And every day is a competition. Every day we're competing for spots out there on defense. So every day is a competition. What is, uh, as far as the, the front, how do you kind of, I mean, you know, every coach says they need depth. How do you feel like you guys on the defensive line are progressing to get to build depth? Right. Um, I'd say, like, we all get great rotation. You know, uh, the D-line's probably getting there for about, what, four pays or maybe not. This is, you know, another rotation coming in. So we, we're getting great rest, rest time, you know. The rotation helped out a lot. Anybody surprise you or anybody that's impressed you that maybe people don't know about? Man, Dana, man. <laughs> Dog Dana, man. So I'm proud of him, proud of all the work he done put in. He's going to be great this year. What, is, what has he done and what did he do to get a scholarship? Every day he just proved himself. He out here working hard, he coaching himself, he coaching us. He, he telling us the right plays, telling us what to do, being a leader. He's just showing great things. Got opportunity to get on scholarship. What do you expect out of this team? Out of this team? What do you guys? We've heard about the hustle tape and the other things that you guys want to be on there. How big of a difference will people be able to see right now? I expect us to fly around, have fun. It's like playing football. You got to enjoy it somehow. So with the new staff, they're pushing us to have juice, to have energy. If you do that, we have great people. So I'm expecting us to fly around, have fun, play football. The Jody started asking questions. Talk about again about getting uh, moving off from regular captain to actually preparing for a team and getting ready for a game. Well, for camp, we just, you know it's hard hours, hard working, and we just been grinding trying to you know get the right fits, the right plays down. And with the transition, now we just learning uh, Notre Dame and learning their fits and watching their film, seeing what they do on a regular basis. And it's been great. How much different is the defense this year from last year? But for last year, we had a lot of talent, i say. But this year, it's like, this is more, it's, it's great for us to, like, be in our position to play. You know what I'm saying? We, we get a chance to make plays instead of two gapping. We get a chance to strike blockers, get off the, the tackle, and you know, make a play. You know what I'm saying? So that's great for the whole D-line. what do you feel like you did to, to earn a scholarship? Uh, I just came to, came to, uh, came to work every single day, man. Um, just, every, every day I, I came with the same work ethic and, and trust in the process. Um, but with everything that I've been through, uh, at the end of the day, it's just hard work every single day. Bringing it. So when you came here, what did you envision yourself as a position? And, and, and when you took that walk-on spot, kind of how you thought this might work out? Um, I, for position-wise, I knew I was going to be a defensive line, uh, some type of like pass rusher, uh, front seven uh, position. Um, I knew that one day I was going to play. Um, I knew that there was nothing that was going to stop me. I was going to uh, overcome any obstacles that uh, that was uh, presented to me to get there on the field. And then you had an injury. Was it preseason last year? No, actually, I had a uh, I had an in in injury uh, fourth day of my freshman fall. Freshman fall. So okay. my freshman year was just uh, all getting back to football. Where did that determination come from where you knew you were going to make it no matter what? I think, I think I had to owe credit to my parents, really. Uh, I have a super close relationship with them. Um, they, they constantly kept pushing me and told me that I was going to beat whatever it is that I was uh, confronted with. Um, and then also my teammates. My teammates, uh, when I first got here, a lot of guys uh, didn't know that I was a walk-on. Um, and a lot of guys, you know, saw that I had that potential in me. 
Um, and then over the years, they started to trust me uh, and give me some of their respect. So it helped me take the opportunities that were presented with me. Did you ever a day that you questioned yourself? Oh, no, absolutely. Oh, well, I, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. There, there definitely was some days. When, whenever, I, whenever I got hurt, uh, it, was, um, it, was, it was a major blow. Uh, but I soaked it up and got right back out to work. How, how did you find out or how did you get the scholarship? Uh, we were in a meeting on Monday. We had a team meeting. Uh, came in, watched a, uh, a little motivational video about uh, like an army vet with um, uh, his amputee. Uh, went through that, and then uh, Coach Satterfield started talking about with like attitude and effort. Uh, and then he said he wanted to shout one guy out who's uh, been giving great, who's been busting his tail, and uh, has always had a great attitude. And then he pointed out to me. What, what was that feeling in that moment like? Oh, it was. Uh, I mean, it was a dream. It was almost. Uh, I could I couldn't believe him when you asked my teammates my, my jaw just dropped I was just in complete shock uh, I mean it, it's a moment I'll forever remember for the rest of my life. How, you, how enjoyable was it to tell your parents? Oh it, it was great uh, actually I called my mom right after it and uh, I didn't tell her on the phone uh, because I'm a local guy I'm just 10 minutes away I uh, told her that I wanted to go talk to her talk to her and my uh, and, and my dad and uh, once I got there then I actually told him and uh, it was it was very emotional they know the journey that I've been through uh, so. everything start to come to fruition. Um, it's, a, it's a little bit nervous, but I, I'm ready. I, I, I trust all the uh, all the teachings and stuff that the coaches have given me, and, and they've, they've got me prepared. On the defensive line, what have you seen from the guys up there? Who can we expect to kind of to show? And Coach said he's going to play a lot of guys. Uh, you, I'm, yeah, you're going to see a lot of guys. Uh, with Coach Ivy, he likes to rotate a uh, good about nine people. So um, you're going to see a, a lot of different guys coming in and out, uh, keeping fresh legs. As a, as a pass rush guy, how would you describe how the rush is coming together? I think the rush is getting uh, getting pretty good. When you look at us from uh, you know, last year uh, to now, I think that we've uh, we've, we've made big strides uh, as far as the whole unit. And uh, one thing that I've noticed is that with the defensive line, we've, we've really come together as a brotherhood. Uh, you know, hanging out together, talking together uh, a whole lot more, you know, stuff like that. So. There being a lot of rotation means you're gonna get a lot of playing time. I would imagine. Gotta get you excited. Oh man, I've been I've been excited since since the spring. Uh, I've been I've been ready. To, like I said, this has been my dream since I was uh, a little boy. So, uh, how was fall camp? And are you glad to maybe start focusing on someone else now? Uh, fall camp was really good. Fall, I think we built a lot of confidence throughout the time. We got the defense fully installed. Uh, it feels really good to be focusing on somebody other than myself. You know what I'm saying? Expect out another day, and what do you know about them? I mean, you know, they're a solid team. They're good everywhere. I mean, it's, they've been good for years. They're going to be solid at all, all phases of ball, uh, offense, defense, and special teams. Is it nice to be preparing for someone and not hitting each other? I mean, you're, gonna, you're still obviously going to play each other the next week in practice, but to, to think about something else. Oh, of course. It's always good to think about something else. I mean, we've been focusing on ourselves since spring ball, so this is, this is what we've been working for since, since coach, we first got here. Had a lot of your teammates, you know, sing your praises when asked. Are you surprised in this camp? How does that feel to know you that your teammates are taking notice of what you're doing? I mean, it feels good, especially especially the situation that I was in. It's just just good to gain the respect of my teammates. So, I mean, that puts a lot of they have a lot of trust in me going into the season. So I'm happy. For Transition from corner to safety. You still enjoying that? Yeah, definitely. I'm enjoying it. I mean, I'm around the ball all the time. I get to make a lot of plays. And it was a pretty smooth transition. A lot smoother than I thought it would actually be. As far as the defense goes, Coach Satterfield and then Coach Brown said tackling was a big issue the first week. Do you feel like you guys have gotten better at that? Yeah, I think we, we definitely got better at tackling as a team. We put a lot of emphasis on that after the first scrimmage. Uh, last year, that was the main thing that we struggled with as a team, just tackling in space. So in order for us to be a good defense, we're going to have to be able to tackle. In this defense, is it easier to fly around and make plays when you're comfortable and understand kind of what you're doing? Obviously? Oh, of course. I mean, especially because we're, we're coached to fly to the ball take your shot because everybody's supposed to be running to the ball every play so even if you're not supposed to break down so it's going to go out there and try as hard as you can to get on the line you have a nice vantage point of the defense who's been impressing you i mean a lot of the, a lot of the guys in the front seven have been really impressive the linebackers cj dorian monty montgomery is a new guy he's been impressive 
a lot of guys in the secondary are really impressed because everybody's gotten better. And as far as D-line goes, a lot of guys have gotten 